So every July we have a dollar value update. So basically what we do is we reevaluate the current market trends, which allows us to update the economic assumptions. Now this is something that we do every year, but it's actually based on the three year rolling average. So we look at the past three years, what the current market's doing, and then adjust accordingly in order to calculate your dollar values. And last year we had a remarkable year in 2015 and the base calf prices and the feeder calf prices were very high and those were put into our economic assumptions. Since we've trended downwards, this is the first year since inception of the dollar value. So we're actually gonna see a slight decline in our dollar B and our dollar W values, so our beef value and our wean calf value. It is truly a reflection of the market conditions. You know, if we look at some of the input traits, the input EPDs such as carcass weight, ribeye area, and our gain values such as weaning weight and yearling weight, they're still trending upwards if we look at them from a genetic trend standpoint, from an EPD standpoint. So the genetics of our cattle are continuing to get better. It truly is just the market trend that are pulling back those dollar values. Overall, dollar B is declining by about $6 on average and dollar W is declining about $2 on average. Now some animals will decline more and some animals will decline less based on you know, the individual animal itself in its own genetic value. We look at our maximum and our minimum values for our dollar B and dollar Ws. Our maximum dollar B animal currently is around $228. With these new economic assumptions, we're gonna really reduce that dollar B to not have very many animals over that $200 mark. And this is the same trend that we're seeing with dollar W. So currently our maximum dollar W animal is around that $110 mark. And we're really not gonna see many animals get over $100. So it's important to realize that not every animal is just going to go down by $6 per head for dollar beef. Um, we're going to have some animals that fluctuate down, you know, upwards of $15, some that only fluctuate less than $2 per head. And that really has to do with the genetic makeup of that animal, where are their carcass EPDs taking them. You know, some animals that may have an extreme carcass weight EPD but have a lower marbling EPD may see a greater decline in their beef value. And this is really just um, because of what the market is telling us. Some of the value is shifting back towards the marbling EPD or back towards our quality grade EPDs versus carcass weight based on those market assumptions. So it's not that we're changing the methodology of how we calculate dollar B or dollar W. It truly is just what the market and the industry is showing us. Something to take into account is that even though your specific animal may have decreased for dollar B, it's happening across the entire population. And so even though you may have a lower value for beef value, you probably are still ranking close to, close to the same rank as you were in the previous economic assumptions. So overall dollar values remain an important part of genetic selection because it's a way for us to combine many different traits into one simple value. It allows for multi-directional change of several traits at once, which increases the rate of genetic change that we have in our herds. And not to mention that it's an easy way for our commercial cattlemen and our membership to understand the dollars and cents of the industry and really look at one value in order, in order to make genetic progress.